Hi, BookTube. It's Gina, and today is Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's time for a tag. I was tagged by Teacup the Storyteller to do a tag that was created by AJ Dunn Reads and Writes called the It's All Relative tag. And so I'm gonna do that today. AJ is one of my favorite booktubers. Teacup the Storyteller is one of my favorite new booktube channels. She does vlogs and really Teacup the Storyteller is an appropriate name for her because she does a lot of beautiful vlogs and is just a really fun storytelling channel. So I hope you will check her out um, linked below. So this is the It's All Relative tag. Let's get started. Prompt number one, Mama Mia. Recommend a book with a mother character that is pivotal to the story. And for this one, I am going to talk about The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I love this book. This is the first in the Broken Earth trilogy, a fantasy series set in a sort of Earth-like uh, setting, but it's not really Earth. It's There are these cataclysmic events that happen periodically that plunge the world into chaos and darkness. And certain groups of people can control the earth. And it's super duper interesting. The character that I'm thinking of is the mother character. She is one of these, uh, and it's not a spoiler because it starts out in the very beginning, um, but they're called Origins and her name is Isun. And she, gives up everything, does everything to save, protect, and nurture her children. And it's a wonderful, wonderful story. Absolutely love this trilogy. Prompt number two is Papa Don't Preach, a book with a father character you like or despise. And for this one, I'm gonna go with Georgette Heyer's Detective novel, Behold, Here's Poison. This is a, a, a typical sort of, it's not really cozy, but it's sort of a cozy mystery um, about a very dysfunctional family. I'm going to go with the father character in this one who nobody likes. He, of course, dies a horrible death very early on in the book. So again, it's not a spoiler. This, this book could probably cover every single relationship in this tag. They're very dysfunctional family. The siblings all fight, they all hate each other. I think the cousins end up getting married in the end, which was much more common in these days than it is now, thank goodness. Um, but this is a wonderful, cozy mystery by Georgette Heyer, who I'm, I'm just now discovering. I can't imagine that I haven't read her romances and her, her detective stories before. They're absolutely wonderful. Prompt number three is Brothers and Sisters, a book with an interesting sibling relationship. And for this one, I'm going to go with Alexander McCall Smith's The House of Unexpected Sisters. This is um, an entry in the number one ladies detective agency series. I can't remember exactly what number it is, but it's it's like 24 or 23 in a, in a long series. I love this series. I love this book especially because it, it deals with sisters, unexpected sisters. And I bought this book at Shakespeare and Company in Paris when I was on my first trip to Europe with my very own sister. So this is a very special book to me. I, I love that I got it at Shakespeare and Company and it's stamped inside with their stamp. So this is just a wonderful entry in the number one ladies detective agency, a very sweet, cozy murder mystery set in Botswana, which I absolutely love. It's very, very nice, sweet series. A prom number four, it's been 84 years. A book you like that is multi-generational or chronicles a character's whole life. And for this one, I'm going to go with Celia's House by D.E. Stevenson. Is this not a beautiful cover. I absolutely love these D.E. Stevenson hardbacks. Um, and this chronicles the Dunn family really 
in this house. So it's it goes over 40 years of the, the grandmother, the kids, and then the kids um, growing up in this house that is Celia's house. And this is a wonderful, relaxing, nice, easy to read D.E. Stevenson. Sorry for the glare on there. I can't really get a good uh, a good screenshot of that one, but I absolutely love these D.E. Stevenson books. I definitely would recommend that one. Prompt number five, You Complete Me, a book with an interesting marriage as a central element to the story. And I'm going to go for this one for Miss Reed, The Year at Thrush Green. And the relationship is, that I want to talk about is um, Nellie Piggott, who is such a good character. She's sort of one of the one of the problematic characters. She's not like the vicar, the vicar's wife. She's one of the working class characters and she's sort of looked down upon a little bit by the town, but she eventually starts her own business and becomes successful and she has this really funny relationship with um with, oh gosh, is his name Alfred or Arthur? Albert, <laughs> Albert Piggott, who is sort of the town drunk, and she ends up kind of coercing him into marrying her. And they have, shall we say, a not happy, but sort of they make it work relationship. Um, and they fight, and it's very interesting. And I don't know if they even like each other. I don't think they really like each other that much, but I love this whole series. You know, I love my misread books. And Alfred and Nellie are a very interesting pair, needless to say. Um, okay, prompt number six, picture it, Sicily. A book with an interesting elder character, i.e. grandparent, great-grandparent. Gosh, that'd be, um, Celia's house would be a good one for that one too. But I'm gonna go with Miss Silver. And where did Miss Silver go? Wait, sorry, here she is. Um, this is a Patricia Wentworth. This is the Braiding Collection, a Miss Silver suspense novel. So Miss Silver is a older lady in the, in the, sort of type of Miss Marple, who is, is a, a solves mysteries just by nature of being smart and knitting and being in the right place at the right time. And I love these books. This one has got quite a dark cover, but isn't that beautiful? Um, so we're gonna go with Miss Silver for the elderly uh, character. Uh, prompt number seven, Friends with Benefits, a book with a found family or friends as family element. And uh, for this one, I'm gonna go for Winter Solstice by Rosamond Pilcher. I've talked about this before. What I love about this book is that the two main characters who start out as friends after a tragedy in one of their lives, they, they go together to a house to just try to recuperate. It's a male and a female and during the course of the book, many people show up at this house. Some of them are related, some of them are not related. And this this group of disparate people comes together, they build relationships, they're definitely a found family. And I, I just absolutely love that about this book. I also think it's really funny, I've talked about this before, how in so many of Rosamond Pilcher's books, a stranger will show up at someone's door during a storm and be stranded and just be invited to stay. And th that happens in this book. And I just think it's so funny. I joke that if some stranger showed up on my doorstep during a storm, I would, I would hide in the basement and not open the door. <laughs> so thank goodness for this, family, they do open the door because it's a wonderful found family. And I just, I absolutely love this book. For a cozy Christmassy country story, it's absolutely wonderful. And prompt number eight, I think we're alone now. A book with a character who was lost, 
left behind or abandoned. Can also be a story with an orphaned or adopted character. And for this one, I'm gonna go with Then There Were Five by Elizabeth Enright, which is the third book in the Melendi family series. It's a, a children's um, book series about four kids who become five kids. It's sort of a giveaway. Um, but four kids who tromp around and in England and have adventures, and it, it's just absolutely wonderful. I will pop a picture up here because I don't actually, I read this one on my Kindle. I don't have a copy of it, uh, but that's, it's definitely a book that I would like to, to get a copy of because it's a really fun series and I've really enjoyed reading it. And prompt number nine, Fur Baby, a book where a pet or animal is part of the family and or plays an important role in the book. And for this one, this is funny. This is The Fur Person by Mae Sarton. We can tell who the main character in this book is. It is The Fur Person. And I, it's a super short, little fun Mae Sarton book. But I love this book. I love that Mae Sarton has written a book about a fur person. And I'm going to reread this one because it now reminds me that it's been a while since I've read this one. So I'm going to check this one out again. And so that is it for the It's All Relative tag. I forgot to... I forgot to decide who I was going to tag for this. This tag's been going around for a while, so I suspect that, that most people have done it. But um, let's see. Mm, I'm sorry. I don't have a. I didn't. Pr I didn't prepare my list of people to tag. So if you would like to do this tag, and I would encourage you to, because it's a lot of fun, um, please go ahead and consider yourself tagged. Thank you. Bye bye.